Here we have an absolutely stunning example of a 2018 68 plate Range Rover Sport P400e. It's a petrol plug-in hybrid, automatic, doing just over 72,000 miles, finished in black with a black pack. It's an autobiography dynamic, comes with full and up-to-date service history with four services. Um, recently just had its EVHC check on the hybrid battery plug-in cable at the back which i'll go through in a second but it's absolutely stunning comes with six months warranty finance options are available check our website browns-autos.co.uk or give us a call my name's josh we'll be more than happy to assist you gorgeous led lights on the front and then when you come to the front this is where we plug in you take the grill away pop the cat and then you've got your pins lovely lights beautiful alloy wheels with the red calipers and you've got that black pack, black detailing all across. Jumping into the vehicle, as you can see, we've got the piano black and the black leather. And the black leather's got the Union Jack stitch in it, perforated stitch and the soft headrest. And as you can see, we've got the fully opening pan roof. Got electric memory seats, Meridian surround system, piano black inlays, nice high par carpets. Jumping into the vehicle itself. As you can see, there's the mileage 76, sorry, 76,000, not 72, 76,169. And the dash can be operated using the steering wheel. We've got Bluetooth remote, speaker control, uh, heated steering wheel, cruise control, speed limiter, and of course the paddle shifts. And that digital display can be changed. Down here, we've got the petrol release and the uh, power tailgate. And then we've got a lovely um, screen at the front. So this is the home page. So we can change the way that our homepage looks. So we can change the settings of that. It's got satellite navigation, media, which includes Bluetooth audio, FM, AM, and DAB radio, and Bluetooth telephone. You've also got, when you plug, uh, when you uh, put the automatic gearbox into reverse, reverse camera, and parking sensors as well on the front and the rear. This display here allows you to operate the seats. The seats can be hot or cold on the back and the base and you can turn them off as such like so. You've also then got your climate controls here. So you just press these buttons and you can play around with this display and the display is absolutely crystal clear, it's beautiful. Vehicle settings, so suspension and drive mode controls and then just your general displaying settings where you can have the display, etc. You've got a split level, a split level um, heating and cooling system in the car. Sorry, I'm struggling to get my words out today. I don't know what's wrong with me. So you power it on and then you can have one side hot, one side cold, you can sync it up, you can have different areas, etc. And you just press the off button like that. So all the climate and the seats work in the same way with the off button. Auto gearbox, pretty simple to use. It goes across the sport as well, where you can either tip it with the stick or you can use the paddle shifts. We've got suspension controls, electronic handbrake, double cup holder, key with the start stop button. And then in the middle here, we've got a really nice air conditioned box we've got the media outlets and it's uh, as you can see the condition is absolutely stunning it's only had two owners this car and as you can see they've really looked after it a beautiful alicantara suede headlining in gray and then of course we have a fully opening roof with wind guard as you can see that's fully closing and you can have that as tilt as such or shut and then you've got a blind that comes across as well right while that's coming across i'll take you to the rear of the vehicle and actually, before we do go there, I think this is absolutely gorgeous, this bit here. So we've got like um, electric folding mirrors and um, manually adjusting mirrors, which I think is an absolutely brilliant idea. And you can just press the button. So you can press that to change the direction of the mirror for the right side. Press that to change to the left side. But if you want them out, just press that button. Stop the kids mucking around the windows, you press that. I just love these little digital touches that they put into the car. I think it's so lovely. Rear tinted windows, electric windows in the back as well and central lock-in. It's also got an alert so that when people open the door in the rear, they know not to open the door if something's coming up, which I think is an absolutely brilliant idea. Lovely lever in the back, that gorgeous black with the sort of un uh, the uh, Union Jack emboss is uh, continued through. When the middle seat goes down, you've got sort of uh, two cup holders and you've got a middle storage pot like that, or you can have the three seats. You've got Isofix basing on the two outer seats. You've got your own heating in the back and two five, five volt USBs for the whipper snappers and their own little luggage uh, bit as well. 
Come to the boot. Power tailgate. The autobiography emboss on the back. And then we've got our sliding parcel shelf, our up and down mode on the back as well, and the cable for the front, which I've shown you already. Absolutely stunning car this is. I don't think it'll be here for long. It's got only had two owners. It's clearly been looked after well. It's got loads of extras, drives really, really lovely. Good history. It's had the EVHC check. If you're interested, give me a call. I'll be more than happy to assist.